Well, folks, again, Sam from the Tortoise Farm here with another incredible pair of surgically sexed Aldabra tortoises. This pair is nine and a half inches. This is the male, 1766. Check this tortoise out. Look how nice and smooth that shell is. Really, really nice. Stay there. Really, really nice. Perfectly smooth shell. It's perfect. It's got a perfect skewed pattern. And again, all of these animals are chipped. So what I mean by chipped is I'll show you here. We scanned them. And there's the pit tag number. Now, the reason that that's important is this shows ownership. This shows identification. You have a national registry that you can list those animals on. And then if they're ever lost or stolen, you can claim ownership because you have that pit tag number. And when animals are found uh, either by a veterinarian or if somebody is in question uh, in, in a, a law enforcement situation where somebody is uh, disputing the ownership, it's that pit tag that uh, proves the ownership because that animal is actually registered. Now, here's the female. Again, another beautiful animal. Take a look at that shell. How, how amazing, really. Nice, smooth shell. Surgically sexed So once pair. again, what's so special about surgically sexed uh, tortoises? At this age, you know what you have. People want pears. They want to grow up with pears. So what happens is, in, in the wild, in the natural population, there are many more females than there are males. I'm just going to move these guys here. I'll put these guys in these bins so they're not so distracting. In the wild, in populations, there are many more females than males because you can't have a population where you have uh, you can't have a group of, of a population where you have five males and five females because the females will get overbred. They'll they'll get injured by the males because the males are constantly breeding the females. So you end up with shell conditions. You end up with with their legs being damaged because the males are always on top of the females. So the best breeding group is to have a male and maybe four or five females. And the same thing exists in the wild. And that's what the females do. The females are the best at plant planned parenthood because the females actually determine the sex ratio of the group. That's three minutes.